In the earlier operating system specific videos, you saw how to navigate around through your file system to find the location where files would be saved based on the starting location of the Python script. In this video, we will be seeing another method that you can use to specify more directly the location where files are going to be saved on your computer. We saw previously how the get current working directory function could be used to determine the working directory that a script was using and that would be the location where any files that are loaded or saved would be coming from unless a more specific file path was given. If we can determine what the current working directory is, that allows us to specify that files should be in some subfolder of that folder. So if your goal is to save and load files either in the same directory that the script is operating from or some subdirectory of that directory, then this is the best function to use to figure out the path where those files should go. However, in some cases, we would rather specify a very specific place on the computer that has nothing to do with the location where the script is running from. In that particular case, we can use the home method from the pathlib module. The home method creates a path object that represents the home directory of your computer. We have to pass that object into the string function in order to get a string representation of the path. Once we've done that, then we can append other strings onto that path if we want to specify some subdirectory of the home directory. So for example, the downloads directory or desktop are very commonly used uh, directories that are found within the user directory in both Mac and PC. The documents folder is found there as well. So by appending whatever that string is to another string that specifies one of these other directories, then we can say uh, this is the location where we expect the files to be. So for example, if you expect that the user of the script is going to download something from the internet, then you can use the downloads directory added on to the path of the home directory. Here's an example. Let's say that I have uh, some output from a script that is running on a remote server and I need to break the script down and pull out some parts of what has happened over the past. It turns out that I have an option to view this as plain text. That plain text is what I actually want to be able to use. So if I say that I want to save as, that is going to default to saving it in my downloads folder. So it's going to call it console text.txt. Let's go ahead and save that. And I see that here it is in my uh, downloads folder. So returning to the script, what I can do is to just append the name of that file console text.txt to this string that I created, um, which represents my downloads folder. If I run this code cell, I can see that it has indeed constructed the full path to my user folder, the downloads folder within it, and then that file. So I can take that um, combination of my downloads folder and the file name and use that as the file name in the open statement. Then I can read the text in and assign it to a variable. When I do that, I can see that here is indeed the text that we were seeing on the web page. And so I could then break that text apart and pull out the parts that I want.